I'm so excited because today I get to come. Oh, come on. And play in my sewing room. Whoop. And I have a whole new sewing pattern I want to try. I mean, tell me those aren't cute. I also got this for some more of those jean daisy dupe type aprons. Oh, I already had a charger up there. Look at me being over efficient. Anyway, we shall see what happens. <music> So here we are in my sewing room and um, today I'm working on Christmas projects. Uh, I have a whole lot of um, denim. I use the denim in, the, in some of the um, projects that I make to sell. I have these cute little aprons that I make um, that just look like shorts with a, a bandana belt around them. Uh, I started making these uh, cute little things. I have some other stuff that I've, I've tried making using the denim, like the back pockets made um, quilt. I need a model. <laughs> a quilt with uh, pockets, a lot of pockets on the front for like an egg gathering quilt. Uh, not quilt, um, apron. And then um, a reversible, for this one I'm not using denim, but I also make reversible basket aprons which are really cute and I'll show that here in just a second but anyway so I have a lot of denim and when I say a lot I have a lot <laughs> of denim I just tell all my family and friends hey if you're getting rid of pants even if they're ripped or stained or anything like that just please don't throw them away just bring them to me because for Christmas I am making Rusty a denim scrap quilt so I've started cutting the two inch um, strips and they'll be two and a half inch by four inch and then I'll put it all together and make a quilt so that's what I'm working on today here I'll demonstrate these um, reversible uh, basket aprons that I make so this is reversible because it's the solid orange on the other side but I put this button here and then we put drawstrings in the bottom of it and then I'll, I haven't finished this one yet. I need to put a clip on it, but the, the clip will just kind of slide into where you can attach it to the button on top. And then that gives you a full big basket on the bottom where you can carry eggs or, um, uh, or garden vegetables or anything like that. And, and just the tighter you pull it, the tighter your, um, basket gets so like this is kind of loose you can pull it a little tight pull it a little tighter there and it kind of cinches that side up so then that way it's it's more cinched and I made it reversible so um, I, I made the uh, belt with the both with both of the colors because if you want if you'd rather have the solid color Well, then you can also use it with a solid color um, and have the printed on the inside, which once you pull the, um, pull the belt or the um, string, it cinches up. And like I said, I need to put my little clip on here so that I can, so it'll just clip right up in this little button. But then you have it solid but then when you make your little basket it um you can see the other side of it so that's one of the aprons styles of aprons that i make to sell at the farmer's market the egg gathering apron it kind of hit me as a kind of i don't know i dreamed it i guess i don't know um, I've seen the egg gathering aprons. I love the egg gathering aprons. Well, I had already started telling 
all of my friends and family that I needed denim, uh, not to throw their denim away, uh, because I was going to make this scrap quilt for Rusty for Christmas. And when I started receiving all of this stuff, I'm thinking, all these jeans, I'm thinking we can definitely use these pockets for something. And so I thought, well, why couldn't we put it on an apron, a reversible, well, it's not reversible, but a, you know, full apron, uh, and put, sew the pockets on and use it as an egg gathering apron. This one came out really cute. It is hard to, to get the denim straight on, on regular cotton fabric. It was hard for me at least. So I don't know that I'll do another one of these, but I just thought it was really cute. I'll probably try to sell this one. And if it doesn't sell, I may just keep it for myself because it is, you know, my seams aren't exactly perfect. I'm touching on this side and, and not quite on this side. So, you know, it, it just proved to be a lot harder than it seemed in my dream, I guess. <laughs> but this is another one of the uh, types of aprons that I sell at the farmer's markets or will be selling this year. This will be my first year, which I will make regular cotton uh, pockets for the next one. And this is the third style of apron that um, I'm making to sell. This was kind of a collaboration between my husband, my mom, and I. Um, when I was cutting the legs off and the pocket, the back pockets off of these jeans, I ended up with a whole bunch of panels <laughs> of the front pockets and the front side of the jeans. And um, so my mom said, you can almost use that as a as an apron so um i made some ruffles and sewed them on the bottom and made my husband made some patches and we put them on this is kind of the um the uh i guess the prototype anyway and then my husband said it would be really cute if you made the um uh, band or the belt look like an actual belt coming through the the loops of the shorts so we did that see it just ties in the back but it looks like it's a belt anyway it came out really cute and these are men's jeans which works perfect because it makes the pockets really really deep um i mean that goes all the way down to the bottom women's jeans you know a lot of times you have the really uh you know shallow pockets so i don't know that it'll work as well but but with the men's jeans, it works really good. And I think it just really turned out so cute. So basically, we, we put these together with the scraps left over from the other two types of um, aprons that we make. So it works out great. You know, the, there's an old saying that says, waste not, want not. And this really um, helps us use all, you know, all of the parts of the denim that are given to us. So anyway, all of that to say that we are that I am making a scrap quilt and it all started with I asked for denim so that I could make a scrap quilt for Rusty and I'm really excited to see how this turns out and it's not and it's not a uh, surprise the the uh, present is not a surprise because it's going to take so much of my time um, I couldn't possibly say hey I have to go to the sewing room and you can't go with me because he's usually right here beside me and um so he knows that I'm making this quilt something we've excuse me it's something we've talked about for a long time and I'm really excited to try it and make this for him but anyway that's how we're spending our uh, Saturday he is outside getting the truck ready uh, for us to go to work we have um, some apartment buildings to power wash and some uh, parking lots to stripe this next week so he's getting us all ready and prepared for that you know kind of that transition from uh, cutting down trees to striping parking lots so you know we're always on the go but uh, anyway just kind of want to let you guys in on what we're doing what I'm doing in my uh, newly remodeled um, uh, sewing room so anyway hope you all have a great weekend